Hi, I'm Dr. Matt Jansen. We're going to demonstrate the Cox sign and the Cox test. The Cox sign is a sign of abnormal nervous system tension, normally only seen in adults with severe disc herniations. However, in scoliosis, we're seeing it very commonly in young children with normal spines, but abnormal nervous system tension driving a scoliosis. What the Cox sign is, is simply a guarding and lifting of the pelvis when performing a passive straight leg raise test, a common test used for testing nervous system tension. What we're doing is putting the patient in a position which maximally elongates the spinal canal. The passive head flexion will elongate the spinal cord in the neck and the upper thoracic. We then take it through a windy course with forced thoracolumbar lordosis and then back to the hips on the ground. It's this point, the hip on the ground, that we're going to keep an eye on. When there's nerve tension, the body will splint and the hip will lift off the ground automatically. It's a nervous system reflex, a response to ab abnormal nervous system tension. So, straight leg raise test. We're gonna go ahead and start. The patient's got his leg fully relaxed. As we lift, we'll hit a point where there's a sudden stop in motion and you saw the patient guard and the hip pop off the ground. That's a cock sign. Again, this is a sign normally only seen in adults with severe disc herniations where the nerve is so entrapped there's no room for it to stretch. We used to only see this sign on straight leg raise test once or twice a year. However, when we began treating scoliosis patients, we started seeing this once or twice a day. We also noticed the cock sign was preceding the scoliosis curve. It wasn't happening as a result of it, so we could have a patient with a very small curve, as this one does, but a noticeable cock sign. And the theory is, according to Dr. Roth and Dr. Porter, is that a tight spinal cord causes a coil down effect of the spine leading to a scoliosis. This test allows us to identify that nerve tension, but it also allows us to quantify nerve tension using an angle finder. So after we've pre-stressed the spinal canal, we call that the Cox test, since it's a modified straight leg raise test. And now what we're gonna do is use an angle finder to measure at how many degrees the nerve tension comes on. The beauty of that is we can quantify how severe the nerve tension is. We can also use it to measure whether or not we're effectively treating the nervous system tension. So for a patient like this, we're going to involve stretches and treatments that help develop elasticity in the nervous system and elongation of the nervous system. We want both. We want the nervous system to grow longer and more elastic. And this patient here has already been working on stretching. He's gotten his left leg a little bit better than the right leg. And as we continue to stretch these, it's expected that the coxine will dissipate as we neutralize the abnormal nervous system tension and therefore eliminating the root cause of the scoliosis.